we are doing today we are going to learn very very important topic that is called a scope okay in the last session we just try to understand let and constant okay so we understand that if you use a let we can't re-declare and uh, if you go with the constant uh, it will follow it, it doesn't allow re-declaration as well and uh, reassignment so that means once you are once you initialize the value you can't reassign and we understand how it will behave with the when it comes to the arrays and uh, object because those are reference types though so that even you can't reassignment but you can update the value with a push and pop on the all those things so now in this process if you see in the official documentation go to the javascript so we have two more important points related to these things so if you understand those two things we should enter into the different interesting topics the first one variables defined with let cannot be redeclared we all understand that and the variables defined with let must be declared before use so if you want to understand what is the meaning of this statement we should learn what is the hosting in JavaScript and if you understand what is the third statement variables defined with let have a block scope so if you understand this one we should understand what is the scope and what are the different type of scopes available in JavaScript topic so we can enter we can understand these things um, at least today we can learn what is scope and what is block scope and what is local scope what are the different kind of scopes available okay the hope you are ready so quickly I will open the code and uh, we can start understanding that one <coughs> these are the important these are important topics like directly these are inter equations okay there is no doubt in that I think already we have entered into advanced concepts so here everything is important in interviews as well so let's see right now we are right now nothing is there here now I'm just declaring few variables so var a equal to 10 and var the b equal to 20 simple and now I can access this variable right suppose if you see I have written console.log console.log a so here if you try to access the a value okay you should get value as 10 and now I'm writing another statement like console.log the value b and I'm just trying to access it so you're able to access these variables without any problem so if you just go to that one and just uh, debug and see you will get the output console when you are trying to read the value you don't have any problem so you got a value as 10 and b value 20 okay so what happened in that process we already know that about the execution context and all those things so we should understand clearly one more time to understand actually what is the scope so for a simple simple two lines of code okay so what we need to do we should go with the JavaScript runtime environment 
so here uh, JavaScript environment have a two two things okay one is JavaScript engine right so this from today onwards if you if you don't know this one you can't understand the topics so already I've explained these things maybe two months back like 40 sessions back around <clears throat> still if you're not able to remember these names um, it's it's not a good thing so please of course still if you are not registered this thing in your mind please go on learn quickly practice quickly so here you will find uh, callback queue and the event queue and here this is the event loop right so in this we have a web api very soon like ne after next two three sessions we are going to understand how this web api we are going to work on how this event loop is working how this uh, all these things are working very soon we are going to learn so today so this is a web api section so because if you put any uh, uh, timers it will register here this is event loop callback queue okay I hope everyone knows if you are following our training from the beginning so now we are going to focus about the scope for that we need to understand this section only so I'm just drawing in a another diagram so you should know what is JavaScript and runtime environment in that we have two things one is um, JavaScript engine and the web API and event loop section. So now I'm clearly drawing JavaScript engine. This is a JavaScript engine. This is a call stack. And we understand we have a memory stack and we have a heap memory, right? And there okay, you can design your JavaScript JIT compiler. This is a JIT compiler. This is a memory stack. This is memory heap. And this is the call stack. Call stack. Okay. Once you give a JavaScript program to a JavaScript engine, it will start doing this action so I can write this is a JIT compiler so we have two lines of code I think four lines of code so right now we don't have any problem and even though we don't understand the what is the scope but next few minutes we are going to understand lots of twists and turns are there so where A and B so what is happening here okay everyone knows that once uh, it, it is just hand over to the JavaScript, uh, JavaScript engine it will allocate the memory right first it will create the global execution context this is very 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 important this is global execution context okay and it will allocate here we have a window object that is very important In the global execution context we have a window object window object and now it first in the first phase it will allocate the memory for all the variables in this scope okay right now I'm saying scope so you will understand what is scope in very soon so where a so initially the a value will be undefined a value will be undefined <coughs> Undefined and A just mapped to this one, and again in the same way, B value also undefined, right? B value also undefined. So, memory allocation phase is completed, and now it will enter into the execution phase. So, here A equal to 10. So, what will happen here? it will store a value as 10 here and uh, in the execution phase the second phase and uh, it will 
then immediately a value here you can access you can see the value as a 10 so 10 in the same way it will allocate the memory for 20 like a b variable b and that is also updated the reference and the value here the b value will be 20 okay b value will be 20 now the two lines of code has executed and now it, it is trying to execute this treatment okay so whenever you are trying to read the variables whenever you are trying to read the variable consider log a and a okay it will check whether that variable is there in that scope or not that means whether we can access that variable or not so slowly just wait for a few minutes you will understand clearly so what it will do if this variable called a is available in that scope it will it doesn't have any problem so right now we have only one scope that is a global scope right <coughs> that is global scope because global execution context is there if a variable is there variable is declared variable is available in this window object this is the window object if the variable is there or a function is there inside the window object inside the global execution context we can say that that variable in that global scope so if you are trying to access the same variable from the same scope we don't have any problem okay so i will show you by debugging also right now anyway we don't have any other scopes that's why we don't need to worry about so if you see right now you are you are allocated the memory in the global still we are in global execution context so whenever you are executing the code it will show you the pointer whether you are in global execution context or maybe once you declare a function once you invoke the function it will create another execution context at the time it clearly indicates that whether you're right now right particular time while executing this code whether it will be pointing to the global scope or any other function execution context so it will, it will indicate clearly so whenever you are writing this console.log a and a right now you are in global scope only so that you don't have any problem you can directly access your own variable that is called a value 10 and b value 20 right now this is simple so i will show you the same thing while doing debugging even we know every, this thing from last few sessions as well but still if you understand other topics we should revise one more time so just go to this I'm just putting a breakpoint here just refresh so if you see whenever it is started execution because we can't debug a memory allocation phase now memory allocation phase is completed and go and check where is our variable so if you see this is the scope section this is going to be very 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 important for us so in that scope section right now it is showing only one scope that is called global scope and in the call stack we have only one thing that is called anonymous so if you see it is clearly saying that anonymous but anonymous is nothing but a function without a name is called an anonymous function so right now right this this one the script you are doing this one right right now for this we don't have any function kind of thing or we don't have any a naming for that so by default it will take a global scope and it will indicate that anonymous don't worry I will show you clearly whenever we create a function without any name and if you assign that function to a variable at the time also it will behave the same thing I will explain clearly for that so now anonymous this is the global execution context so this is what anonymous what it is this is what we have declared designed here like global execution context and it has a scope so like this global execution context this global execution context have a scope that is called global so in this you will find your variable a and b and 
understand clearly it is pointing I said some arrow mark is there right here I showed you like this so here it will point right now where whatever the line whatever the statement you are executing at that time it will the JavaScript engine knows that whether you are there in global scope or any other scope so if it is showing a blue tick on this that means you are in global execution context and the scope for that global execution context is a global scope so right now if you are there in your house you don't have any restriction to have a tea or coffee or water in your house right this is also same so you are right now you are in global execution context and you whenever you try to access these variables you don't have any problem so whenever you go and execute this two lines okay we already know that's why I'm just explaining fast for those two things so if you see once you execute first two lines a is equal to 10 and b is equal to 20 so it will store that value so now we are going to execute console.log a that means line number 23 so at the time observe carefully this statement this statement that line number 23 is pointing to the global execution context so that you can access the, these variables which are there in global scope so now you don't have any problem so if you just try to execute so it will go and find that variable in that scope and it is giving the output no problem for us so now again go and execute the next line so at the time you can you can observe the code so this is now it is pointing to the global execution context only this global execution context has a scope called global so you don't have any problem because <clears throat> you are in global execution context and you are trying to access the variable from the global scope so that you don't you don't get any problem so that's why you got the output a value 10 and b value 20 so everything is simple so far now we can understand you will find difficulty sometimes we can't access variable from one scope to other scope so for that okay just let me check if there any, any uh, live yeah who are there in the teams please give me a confirmation you guys understood what we are talking or not okay fine two people are there uh, you can you okay I think my network is slow today so if you have any questions uh, please um, put here I will try to answer your questions okay okay we are going to understand what is local scope this is very very important and if you see in JavaScript in JavaScript if you just open the curly braces and close the curly braces this is called a block okay this is called a block block so suppose for example if you want to use if suppose if you give a if so what you will do it will open and close that means you are grouping a few statements into one one statement this is all this is called we are considering suppose if you if you if you just declare five to ten statements and if you want to group together what we are doing we are using a, a like curly braces so that we can call it as a, a block but here we have uh, another one so if block is there else is block is there and even for for loop is there okay suppose for the for loop you are writing for loop you are writing suppose where i is equal to 0 i less than 10 okay i plus plus and here also we are using a block this is also a block so there is a significant meaning for this block and the block scope so before understanding block scope we should understand local scope as well so here <coughs> so this is a block but we are going to use a similar kind of thing for the function right 
function I'm writing say hello function say hello so here also we have a curly braces okay so of course if you see if you open the brace and close the brace we thought that this is a block scope but here when it comes to the functions just understand here this is the most important thing when it comes to the functions okay it will be like uh, the local scope so because functions are different okay whenever you declare a function whenever you invoke the function it will create another execution context for the functions okay it doesn't execute it doesn't create another execution context for the if condition it doesn't create another execution context for the for loop so the functions have a, a different different and uh, lots of qualities and a lot of it is powerful so whenever you declare a function whenever you declare a function and if you, if you try to invoke that function it will create another particular space for that function to execute the logic that is called execution context for the function so this is a block and even though we are using curly braces here we can call it as a, a local scope because it is creating a separate execution context so it is creating another scope for us okay right now simply don't worry okay first we can go and try to understand the local scope and uh, we can come back to the block scope so to understand the difference between the simple block and function block okay but normally whenever you create a function suppose i'm writing a say hello say hello so even though we are using like a blocks blocks kind of thing but this it will have a different scope that is called local scope Okay, so I we have created a function, simple function, function say hello. Here I'm just declaring a variable with var only. So still we didn't enter into the let in this topic. So var message. So I'm just putting a message, message like it's a good morning. So inside the function. I created a variable called a message and here I'm trying to trying to access console.log a message that's it so now if you invoke it then only it will start executing that so I'm just trying to invoke it invoke that function or okay we can go with a sequence so a b and then we can access the say hello simple now again i will explain what is this in this diagram then we can go on debug the code and we can see what is happening in the browser so for the two lines nothing changed so it will allocate the memory for a it will allocate the memory for b and again it will allocate the memory for say hello right say hello so go and uh, draw the diagram for that so first a value is 10 b well so initially a value is undefined so make it undefined in the memory allocation phase it is it will be undefined and b also will be undefined so at the time we don't have any uh, value in the memory stack that 10 or 20 is not there so, right now okay without rewriting I'm just um, putting there so these two things a and b are going to point to undefined so that in the memory allocation phase a value is undefined and b value is undefined and the third one function is there for this function also it will allocate the memory this is very very important right in the memory allocation phase it will allocate the memory for that function <clears throat> that function name is um, say hello so it will push uh, a new a method this uh, say hello into window object okay so what is the syntax is there for that function so this function the whole syntax is there it will go and 
store in where it will store this value so this is a reference type right arrays and objects and functions are reference type so it will allocate the memory in the heap right so it will create a block here so it will store the function definition here function definition here and it has address suppose 2000 okay and it will store okay before this executing these things so anyway so it will store the address of that uh, memory block suppose imagine that it's a 2000 and uh, if you store the address then immediately you should remember like this is a pointer the okay, pointers are different from normal variables so this address is pointing to this one and uh, say hello is pointing to this address so whenever you call say hello it will go to this place and because this is a pointer so it will find the information at this address so you can find the function definition here itself in the memory allocation phase only just imagine this is happening in a memory allocation phase this is a function definition like whatever it's. so I'm just putting like the definition kind of thing so, so memory allocation phase is completed so even if we want to see we can debug the code and we can come to that point so just refresh code and uh, so if you see memory allocation phase is completed and if you open the global scope okay right now still we have only one scope this is the global execution context and if we have a global scope and we have a variable a still it is undefined we have a variable b still it is undefined because just we have completed a memory allocation phase but for the function for the function in the memory allocation phase itself if you define the function like this okay if you define the function in a different way it will behave in a different way so we can learn that one in very soon but if you define the function in this way it will allocate the memory it will initialize the memory in the memory allocation phase itself so just go and try the say hello normally for a and b it is undefined for say hello it has a definition for that a function so if you just go to the alphabetical order say hello will be there somewhere yeah here yeah. the say hello if you see you can find the definition for this okay, right now don't try to break your head what is there inside so just say hello yeah we are able to see the information for the say hello so now memory allocation phase is completed now we are going to enter into execution phase this is the most important thing again so in the execution phase what will happen what will happen here we have a function called say hello and a is equal to 10 then what will happen it will allocate the memory for it will allocate the memory for a that value will be at 10 and immediately it will update the value in it will take the value from that location so this will also automatically update it to a 10 awesome now in the similar way it will go and update the value for the B so it will be it will be 20 okay it will be 20 so here also the value become 20 here also the value become 20 good where are you so you are there in a global execution context so anonymous is a global execution context okay still we are at line number one a b is done so we have a a value as 10 b value as 20 this is we already understand now consider log a okay whenever you are executing the code whenever it is executing the code you should remember what is the scope of that that is most important so right now this is in a global execution context and so that you are in global scope you are in global scope so whenever you call 
console.log a still you are in a global scope so you don't have any restriction to use this variable so you will get output as a value as 10 got it and uh, here if you call the b you don't have any problem okay now we should understand what will happen when you invoke this function say hello so that is very important sorry for the background noise i can't control that now so whenever you invoke the function called say hello it will create another execution context for the function so the functions are very 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 important in javascript of course any programming language functions are important but especially javascript is giving more and more importance for the functions so whenever you invoke the function it will create another execution context and it will create another scope also for that function so now you understand your you should understand clearly so this scope whenever you create a global execution context it has created another scope that is called global and whenever you invoke the function it is created an execution context along with that execution context it has the scope that is called a local scope to that function so it has allocated a memory for that in a this call stack this is called execution context for that function so what we can call this is execution context for say hello so whenever you are pronouncing that say this is called execution context for say hello so this is this is execution context for say hello so this this one this block so i'm just at least referring like this this is the execution context for say hello and it will automatically create another scope for that execution context another scope for that function that is important thing we should understand so and this one also follows the two phases one is a memory allocation phase and execution phase so if you see whenever you invoke this function whenever you invoke this function it will go and invoke this function so first it will create a execution context for that execution context for say hello and and it have again it will follow execution phase because what is what so now it will focus on these things these lines of code okay whenever you are in once you invoke this function it will completely focused on this function only okay now again it will allocate the memory for this variables which are there in the local scope so we have one variable that is called message so then what will happen it will allocate the memory for that so here if you see it it has another object because this message is not going to be there in window object so i will show you shortly it will it will push into another object so that is called a message the variable is message initially initially in the memory allocation phase that will also point to this same undefined so this message the result is undefined undefined okay the value of that message is also undefined now because we are in memory allocation phase of that execution context and once it is completed because we have only one variable to declare here and here this is not going to take any action in the memory allocation phase so after that once we complete the memory allocation phase it will go and execute this one so what it will do in at the time of execution process it will allocate the memory in the memory stack as a good morning and it will refer that to that 
a message so now if you enter into the execution phase what it will do again it will store this message called say hello because it's a primitive so that it will directly store the information in the memory stack that is called good morning good morning and now the the value of this message has become good morning it's become good morning so value of this is become okay, it's really clumsy we don't have space here so i will do one thing i will remove this one so the value of this message is big has become good morning good morning so this will happen and then what you are doing you are trying to access the variable called message now if you see whenever you are trying to access this message i said it will point to the it will point to the execution context so this blue tick is there right this blue tick this pointer this what what is because it will refer whether you are there in global execution context or okay i am not able to uh, select it so now it is it is going to point the um, your local execution context or execution context for that function called say hello it will point here so whenever you are trying to do access a variable that means you are in that local scope so if you see now it is pointing to this one now you are accessing console.log message console dot log message that means you are there in this function so you can access you can access variables inside that function right right now because this is this statement is there inside the function so that it is also following the local scope so that it can it can access the local variables so it will go and find this information and it will print the output so still we don't have any problem because this say hello right now you are calling console.log a message it will go and find information in its local scope you will get the output as message we don't have any problem okay and then what here observe carefully i will repeat what is happened here and one more time once you complete once you complete execution executing this one all these statements what will happen it will delete this execution context from the call stack that is going to be very very important point so if you see what is happening here once you execute all the statement in that function it will delete this execution context this is gone this is gone this is gone so you got the output as 10 and the b value as 20 and say hello whenever you invoke the function say hello you will get the output as say uh, good morning also still we don't have any problem because once you come out of once you delete that execution context observe carefully once you come out of this function again again you will come to the global execution context back so once it is removed that this execution context so right now we don't have any local execution context again you come back to the global execution context from where you invoke the function okay you invoke the function you invoke the function here right say hello so once you complete this execution execution so again it will the control will come to the global execution context and it will be there here so after completing this statement so so far we don't have any problem so now we should enter into the complex things so before that just give me a confirmation do you understand so far or any problem even if you have any question you can ask me quickly
understood or not understood okay i think this message this message he has given previously so here you are saying that understood okay no problem even if you have any this is most and most important topic so now i am doing something different so what i am trying to do right now i'm i'm not writing this consolidated log inside of that So what I'm trying to do after this invocation, I'm trying to call this one. Okay. Can anyone guess what will happen while executing this statement? So you understand at least few basics. What will happen? It will create a global execution context and it will allocate the memory. And if you're trying to access that variable from the global scope, you don't have any problem. And whenever you have a function, it will create another execution context for that function. And it will follow the two phases. One is a memory allocation phase. Another one is execution phase. If you are trying to access any variable inside that scope, you don't have any problem. You can access those variables. Once it executes this function, it will delete that execution context from the memory. And it will come back to this position. And then it will it is going to execute this statement so just try to guess what will happen whether it will display so suppose okay i will put the statement here itself one more time so here we know that whenever you execute this this statement whenever you execute this statement it will simply display this message called good morning right we don't have any problem here so it will this statement is there in the local scope and it can access this message and it will display the message here so but here i am trying to call that one from the different scope because this statement this console.log message is there in the give me what will happen what will be the output i am saying just guess it whether it will print output or it will show an error or something else now you can even you can unmute and tell me it will respond to you for this statement so it's saying that error may be undefined mm -hmm. okay good someone said maybe you will get undefined someone said maybe it will give an error okay if it is an error what kind of error okay let's see let's see we can we can debug and we can check again so now so far so first i'm just putting comments for this line okay once we understand this again we can come back to execute that one so now i'm going to refresh this one so if you see memory allocation for global execution context is done so that it has allocated a memory for a but the value is undefined b undefined of course say hello we understand that it will allocate the memory in the heap memory and it will store the memory address in the memory stack and that will point to the again window object so if um, understand carefully this is window object window object the global scope and the object name is called window and we have a value undefined b value and if we have a function definition if we just scroll down one scope right now we have only one scope that is called global scope and this one right now it is point it is selected where a is equal to 10 right right now this statement this statement is there in the global execution context so that we have a global scope and now we are going to execute that statement so we don't have any problem so simply it is allocated a memory for a and a value will become 20, 10 and if you execute the next statement it will allocate the memory for b also and the b value will be 20 and now you are trying to access a right now this this one this is this statement is there in the global execution context so that you don't have any problem to access the variables which is there in global scope 
so you will get the output in the console happy and execute another one console dot log of b still you don't have any problem the b value is 20 and sources so now whenever you invoke the say hello whenever you try to invoke the say hello what will happen so observe carefully you have a the blue tick is just pointing to say hello right now it is completely focusing on the function right now you are in that function scope and if you see whenever you are there in function say hello we have a two scopes of course already global scope is there because it is not going to be delete now so you can access the information from the global scope plus plus you are there in local scope right so if you see this message already execution memory allocation phase is completed so message the value of this is undefined and there is something this and window okay we we are going to understand what is the importance of this information also very soon so right now understand that if you have a function if you invoke the function it will create another scope for each and every function in javascript has a different scope we can call it as a local scope understand this statement okay if you don't have any function if you don't have any block everything is in global scope so if you have if you define any function and if you declare any variable inside of that those variables which are there in which you have declared inside the function those are local scope to that function so this is local message is undefined and right now it is pointing to say hello so if you see console.log message and you should understand whether you are calling from global execution context or local execution context so it is pointing to say hello that means you are calling inside the function you are there inside the function and you are trying to access the variable say hello and simply uh, sorry uh, console.log a message and you don't have any problem because you are there in that scope only so that you don't have any problem to access the local variables so now if you try to console.log message you remove scope also attached to that function so now observe carefully here say hello and local both will be gone and this pointer will point to anonymous that is called global execution context now again you will come back to the global execution context so execute that one so if you see that is gone say hello execution context is gone and the local scope the scope local is gone so now you can't find a message you can't find a variable message anywhere inside the global scope because that is the assets or that is a property of that function that method right now you can't find it so whenever whenever if you try to access that message from line number 36 it will try to find because this console.log message that statement line number 36 is there in the global execution context so it will try to find that variable in global scope but you can't find it because that is not there in global execution context that is not there in that scope so now if you see I'm going to this one uncomment this one and it is allocate the memory for a and b again okay a and b again no problem for us so whenever you go and uh, so b is also executing now okay you are able to see a value and b value simply because you don't have any problem because you are there in a global scope and you are trying to access the variable also from the global scope you don't have any problem so now say hello if you just try to invoke the function automatically you got the local scope here for this execution context and uh, whenever you try to execute this console.log message inside the function inside the function at that particular time whenever you are executing the statement console.log message at line number 25 at that particular time still you have an execution context and still you have a your own scope that's why 
you are going to access the variable from this one and you will see the output so if you see you don't have any problem now so now try to understand whenever you complete execution of this function once you come out of that function it will remove it will remove this execution context from the call stack whenever you remove the execution context from the call stack it will remove this local scope also from the and you can't find the execution context called say hello you can't find the message also so now whenever you try to console.log message at this particular time it will go and set the variable there in the global scope if it doesn't find the variable in the global scope it will throw an error so if you see the console what is the error message is not defined it's clearly saying that i just try to find the variable in in the in my scope okay how much I can access how much I can access okay what is my scope this console.log line number 36 what is the scope of this statement because it is in the global scope so that it will try to access the information from the global scope but a message the variable miss call variable name called message is not available in that scope that's why it is throwing error that is called uh, not defined it is clearly saying that it is not defined in my scope how can i give that value to you that is what the meaning of the scope that means if you declare any variable inside the function inside the function you can access those variables whenever you are in that execution context of that function whenever you are you, you can access those, va those variables inside of that because you are there in the local scope but once you come out of that once you come out of that okay it will remove execution context from the memory and the local scope is also gone so that you can't access those variables so now tell me one more time do you guys understood or not so undefined means if it if you have a variable already and it is assigned as undefined then only you will get undefined so apart from that if you don't have a variable simply it will throw over there in the call just give me confirmation do you guys understood or not okay <coughs> babita so from today yes, onwards yeah tell me ask me Tell me, Bhavita. No dots. No dots. Okay, fantastic. So this is just introduction to the scope. Okay, we we are can I access this variable inside the function because A and B are declared in the global scope. If you see where A is equal to ten, where B is equal to twenty, this is there in the global scope right now you know right this is no problem this we have a problem so now we can understand something different from this example so if if i try to access console.log a and console.log b like if i try to access variable a and b inside the function okay what will happen whether it will show an error or that is fine just guess it if you know the answer explain me if you don't know the answer at least guess it so whenever you are executing any statement you should remember that okay what is the scope of that and whether you are able to access it or not that is most important but just guess okay this is also gone okay, let me rejoin again
sorry bola uh, hope you joined again yeah so if you don't know the question okay let me share my screen one more time are you able to see my screen bala Yes, okay how uh, we will get any other surprises what will happen here we get output sir will you output why sir we get output we can the where we can deploy the output of the function but we can tell we global scope we can access any time very good that is perfect Bavita what is okay what is your guess what is your answer you are thinking that it will throw an error yes sir no okay so let me so Balavardhan is saying that we don't have it doesn't show any error but Another person is saying that maybe it will throw an error because you are in local scope. You are in local scope and uh, you don't have any problem to access your, your variables. But do you have any do you have a permission to access the variables which are there in the global execution context? So here, yes, you don't have any problem to access the variables which are declare in the global execution context because if if the variable is there in the global execution context whether you are in global execution context you can access it even if you are in local scope of that any particular function no problem it's like a universe because god created natural resources right you can access from anywhere in the world okay in the same way in the same way you can access these things from 